What if you've got a page and you've added in menu anchors and you're now scrolling up and down all over the place? Okay, look here, we've got a section four and it takes us down to section four, wonderful, wonderful. But I now wanna go back to the top. How do I get back to the top? I've got to scroll up. But you'll notice over here, we've got some buttons stuck to the side. We did that in a previous video. But I wanna show you how you could add in a button that literally takes you all the way back to the top so that you don't have to scroll. We've got a section over here. Okay, this section at the moment is an empty section, but it kind of contains uh, the, um, the social sharing icons before we made them sticky. I'm gonna go over to this section and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna drop in a menu anchor. Okay, we're gonna drop in a menu anchor like so. So there's the menu anchor and it's in this section and it's up here. I'm gonna call it go, go to top like that. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple, go to top. You could do something a bit more inventive, but I'm feeling a bit tired today. Okay, so go to top and I'm just gonna copy that. Remember, if you do uppercase, lowercase, or whatever you put in there, remember that, because that's important. I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna pick icon. You could use a button, by the way, so I could have used this and changed the words to be return to top, but I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna grab an icon and I'm gonna stick that into this top section. The only reason why I'm putting it into the same section, it just keeps everything in one place. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna change this to be a chevron. We'll go with this one over here, like that. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll then just style it. I'm gonna give it a white color and I'm then gonna go over to the advanced tab. I'm gonna go down to background and give it a background color. And I'm just gonna go with a salmon color, okay? I'm just showing you how to do this, right? It's entirely up to you. You could even add a gradient color in there, whatever you want. You can also adjust the size of your button, so you wanna make it smaller or bigger, and you can even rotate it as well, but we'll leave it as the zero. Okay, now, this button, we are gonna go over down to positioning, and I'm gonna change the width of this to be custom. Because by default, that icon, when I set the background color, even though it's only like that big, it's stretching the full width. So I'm gonna change this to be custom. And as soon as I do that, look at the button now. It has kind of shrunk in size. You might wanna go to advanced now and just give it a bit of padding. So I'm gonna go with about five on the right and five on the left as well. And you know, look, you would adjust it accordingly to what you really wanna go for, okay? So I've gone with a 2525 five, just so we get a bit of a square look. Now let's go back to the icon. At the minute, that icon isn't doing anything. It's not linking to anything. I'm gonna type in hashtag, and then I'm going to paste in our menu anchor, go to top, hashtag go to top, okay? So what that's gonna do is take us back to the top. Uh, do bear in mind though that if you do do this, I strongly recommend that you do this within your header section because if you have this present on every page in your website, you wanna make sure it knows that it's, that it's going to the right page or it might not actually do anything. You might click here and it doesn't do anything, it just sits there. So if you do this in your header section or your header template, and it's set to entire site, it will work a lot better like that. Okay, so we've done that and we've given it the URL hashtag go to uh, top. Let's go back to advanced. Now we've already set the position to be custom. Now I'm gonna set the position to also be fixed. If you went for absolute, it will only be uh, fixed in position for that section. So if you haven't set the section as a sticky header, it will disappear as you scroll up and down. So sticky header, you can get away with absolute, but I tend to say always go with fixed. So no matter where you scroll up and down, it will always be there. So let's just go to, in fact, I did already have it on, I had it on fixed. So absolute will um, mean that when you scroll up and down, it will sort of disappear out of view, which is what you don't want. So we're gonna go to fixed. Now, because it's custom, if I do that, it's now jumped to the right hand side. So you can decide where the button is. If I scroll down, I can put it at the top or the bottom, and you can see it doing that there. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to go to VH, and I am going to adjust it to be something like that. And you can just see it there, okay? You can just see it, you can't miss it. So if we now hit update, and we now go to preview this page, okay? We already have um, section four. I'm gonna click it, I've jumped down. And instead of scrolling back to the top, I'm gonna to click this button instead. And look, we've gone back to the top. That is how simple that is, okay? 
So you could have words in there. You could put the word T-O-P in vertical if you want or however you want to do it. But that is a really simple way of doing a return to top with no code, no extra plugin needed. You're just using positioning to do it. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll keep seeing you.